How's it going guys? Mask here. Now today I'm making a daily checklist video. Essentially, I'm going to cover everything you need to do in any given day in Knight's Chronicle to, to cover all the bases and make sure you've, uh, you, you're capitalizing and optimizing your growth in the game. So uh, it's pretty standard. I've created a checklist to on the, the bottom right hand corner of the screen here. We'll throw the whole bottom of the screen and uh, let's just go through the list together. Uh, first thing I always do when I log in is check my missions. So you go into your mission diary and just look at what you still have to do. And now this mission diary on any given day should should really dictate how you're going to go through your dailies. Because the mission diary, most of the missions are just telling you to do certain daily aspects of the game X amount of time. So if you follow the order of the mission diary, you'll speed up the process of actually getting through it. I've been quite lazy at the very end here. I got uh, these last, well, this was all I had left was three or four and they've released a new page on me. So I got to get back in there and start uh, trying to complete these missions because I could certainly use some, uh, some of these babies right here. Now, check your missions and use this as a guide to, to tell you what order to do everything in. Next thing I always do is jump right into the guild and check into, check into the guilds. This is the town hall, not the guild. We're gonna go to your guild, make sure you check in, boom. You got your guild dungeons. You wanna clear three guild dungeons. You have three stamina pots. Ooh, nice. Sorry, three, yeah, guild stamina in total. So make sure you clear three guild dungeons. Your, check with your guild leader. He, he or she probably has a plan as to what you guys wanna be clearing at any given time. It you, It's a, the best strategy to clear um, the stages that work together to get you mission rewards. So check your, you can check the mission rewards here. You can you complete five, six, and seven. You're gonna get a reward. So right now we're working on clearing five, six, and seven because we've cleared one, two, and three. Well, I mean they're kind of all over the place, but if you focus in, you can help get you guys more get your guild more rewards. Next thing I always like to do is the free draw. I mean you don't have to do this list in order. I originally uh, had planned on crossing these crossing everything on the list out as I go through but I realize that's just gonna be too much of a waste of time so make sure you don't forget to do your free draw in any given day it's kind of hard to forget it's staring you right there in the face and you're always probably one of the more exciting parts of the day although it often just lets you down there's gold come on oh Leona give me Esmeralda like there are some SRs that I would actually love to see drop here but I'll take an SR drop anytime from the free draw Okay, so the free draw is done. Next is you need to send pal points to your friends. Next up on the list. So, and this kind of all goes together because you can't always send your pal points because your pal points are full. So that's why the next one is 600 pal stamina. You want to make sure you recharge 200 stamina three times a day. This is so important. Now, I highly suggest not doing it like I am. You, you're never really going to want to buy all 600 stamina at once because you want to capitalize on your rank ups. Make sure you're only buying the stamina at a time where you are guaranteed you can get that under your stamina total before your next rank up or you're not going to get bonus stamina from ranking up. If I ranked up right now at 698 over 258, I would be I would stay at 698 and I would not actually get a bonus like 260 stamina and that sucks. So now that I've but now that I've spent all of those pal points on stamina I can go ahead and send received my full friends list now actually something that's not really on the list here but this sort of goes in with sending friends pal points with me I scroll down to the bottom of my friends list and I look if anybody's been offline for more than 12 14 hours I typically delete them I mean that's that's a little that's a little aggressive I know but I, my, I, I always have an infinite number of friends on, uh, received friend requests on this side to replace them with. So it's totally fine. Um, and you always want to have 50 out of 50 friends, for sure. And if you ever replace a friend, make sure to send and receive pal points again, because you can get another five pal points from that, from, from that friend. Next, we have the pal roulette and the pal lotto. So I'm going to go back to the town here. Make sure you always hit your gold mine. I don't think I put gold mine on there because it's not really a daily thing. You just always want to be hitting your gold mine whenever you go to town. The pal roulette. I spin the pal roulette whenever I can, always. It's just, it's treated me so well. I will constantly spin this roulette. Six stars? Nope. But like, I've gotten the five and six star hero from this roulette so often that it's it. No matter what, I spin it twice a day. 
out of sheer respect for the lotto for the roulette alone. <clears throat> Two four star heroes, hundred pal points a piece, totally worth it. Now I have pal lotto on here, but make sure you listen to what I'm saying. I check the pal lotto. For me, after doing, I did a bunch of kind of, I did a, re, a bunch of research on the pal lotto to see if it was ever really worth to dive into. Now that we can spend 600 pal points a day on stamina, it makes this even less worth it to me. But if this tier one reward is something you think is worth it, then it might be worth it jumping into the pal lotto if you have tons of extra pal points. If it's a six star evolve mon, that's a really that's really good. Definitely not if it's a six star ruin ticket. Ten crystals could be worth chasing after. 300k gold, I used to say would be worth it, but now that we're even more pal point star because of the stamina, I probably wouldn't dive after the 300k gold. Maybe if it's the 10 crystals or the six star, six star evolve mon, would I spend on the pal lotto? Check that off the list. Next, we have all of our dungeons. So you're gonna jump into adventure, head over to your special dungeons. Now, under the growth section of special dungeons, you wanna clear your gold, du your gold dungeon 15 times in total. Yes, this does require you to use uh, dungeon tickets, but these are super, you, you could buy a package of 10 dungeon tickets for 90 crystals. I know you're, a lot of people are crystal starved. The, the dungeon resets are only if you, if you can. If you can afford to do it, I highly suggest resetting the origin of growth once and your gold dungeon twice. That's gonna cost you three, four, five tickets a day in total. If you buy, they only cost nine a piece if you buy them in bunches of 10. This is the most efficient way to spend your crystals to actually progress your account in the entire game. So I highly suggest resetting these, clearing the gold dungeon 15 times a day, the origin of growth 10 times, obviously do it five and five if you don't wanna reset, regardless. Now your mystical essence dungeon needs to be done three times a day. Don't, it knows no entry limit, but you gotta do it three times a day for your daily quest to get to make sure you get that 10 free gems. And your whatever, whatever out of how many XP dungeons there are, you need to do one of them once. And once you've cleared that, you, it, it's just another thing you needed to do for your daily achievements here. Spin the roulette, send pal points to friends, and there you go. I haven't cleared an XP dungeon once today, so I'll have to do that. Now let's look at the next thing we've covered. Eve, the Evo dungeon, the gold dungeon, XP mod and essence. Moving on to the bounty list. Let's head back to town. Jump into the bounty list here. And uh, honestly, there's zero reason why you shouldn't clear your whole bounty list every day. But you do need to do at least one of them for your daily achievements. And then your guild missions, which we didn't actually check. When I say check guild missions, you should look at them, give them actually a really good look over. So we go into the guild missions, and the guild missions wants you to do the PAL summon two times. So we'll have to do that. The guild, these guild missions change daily. You don't, they're not always the same thing. Wants us to do three arenas. You do uh, three arena for your daily achievements regardless. Clear multiplayer three times. And that is the only reason clear multiplayer is listed on the far right side here. I mean, it's at the end and they're sort of like what you do when you're done your dailies and for the rest of the day. But uh, as far as dailies go, there's the, the bounty list, like I said, clear your bounty list as many times as you can. And then let's head down to, oh, I need to fix that. Hydrated bot spamming the stream. The last thing, the last thing on the list that's like really important and you can only do a very limited amount of times every day is the boss dungeons. So we're gonna jump into the boss dungeon. It might look intimidating. You might feel like I'm just getting slaughtered anyway, so why do it? No, you absolutely should do it. Because I mean, even if you are in the what so the worth the last place person in the entire boss dungeon list, you'd have technically a percent of a hundred. This is like a percent rating of where you fall versus other people, I believe. That's how it works. You still get a bronze box, 20 enhanced stones, and 50k gold. And it costs you nothing to get in. It's its own stamina system, zero stamina, just three entries. So make sure you clear the boss dungeon three times or just do the boss dungeon three times. And after that, um, actually, I think I forgot to put Lena's gift times five back in. I did. Uh, that's, uh, it's actually a significant thing that I, that I consider part of my dailies, but constantly going back to the lobby and clicking on this whenever it's available. Lena's gift. This is, I, I consider it just as much, like I'll be sitting there like, oh, okay, I gotta keep playing for another half an hour because I gotta get three more of Lena's gifts. So make sure you get Lena's gift uh, times five every day as well. 
So then once you're done all of those, it's just grinding the arena for, for quests. Sometimes uh, there'll be a guild quest that requires you to jump into the arena 10 times. That takes a little while, but this is one of the most important things in the game, just because the higher in the arena you get, the more free crystals you get, the more you can actually progress your account. So make sure you're grinding the arena. I try to, when I'm actively playing, I try to make sure this is always on cooldown. And then once you're done the arena, I mean, you, you'll continue to do the arena all day if you're playing all day, but you've accomplished your dailies at this point. Um, some guild quests say clear multiplayer. Uh, that just means, and you can do that as, mul you can do multiplayer advents to do that, or you can simply do the multiplayer gold, the multiplayer gold at the search for gold dungeon. Let me just scroll down to it down here. This one's super easy to clear. I mean, the, you, you get a little bit of gold. The rewards aren't great, but if you're just trying to clear a mission, it's n sometimes it's not the worst idea. We have uh, Android from Another World as a multiplayer today. That is a two-star advent. We have Speaker for the Trees as a one-star. This is quite an easy one. And then Searching for Treasure co-op dungeon at the, at, the, at the last resort. You can clear this as if you need to clear multiplayers to complete a daily quest. And then when you're done, that's it. That's all the daily things you need to do every day. Something I still consider a daily is your available attempts in your advent dungeons. But this is sort of an, at the end of all your actual dailies, you're gonna try to clear these as many times as you can, because this is really what's going to advance your account. I mean, obviously, uh, so the one star advents have no entry limit. The two star has no entry limit, but uh, Spear of Justice, Reina advent, five available attempts. I should be clearing this five times today. No excuse. I need these SR advent units to get my fourth and f or my third and fourth purple stars on like basically my entire team. And I've been super lazy at this lately. I should be clearing the chess grandmaster and I should be clearing uh, the, the Reina advent all five times today. I mean, you can reset them to push further, but I, I just like clearing them five times as long as the stamina is there to do it. Now that we have the 600 bonus stamina from pal points, that becomes a lot easier. And that's, that's basically it. Grind your advents, grind your your PvP, and of course advance in story mode. But these aren't these aren't dailies. These are things. The story mode, especially, is something that just needs to be done once. Uh, while you're advancing through your story mode, keep an eye on your stamina. Always make sure you're ranking up when your stamina is below full. Story is an extremely efficient way to rank up. So much so that often you won't even burn through your entire stamina. Uh, pool before left ranking up and you can often miss out on rank up rewards. A good way to balance that out is to jump into some some growth dungeons whether it be the the rune the rune dungeon or advent dungeons to burn big chunks of stamina to help make sure you're just under your maximum right before you rank up every time. But I mean if you follow this list every day that I'm actually I took some time into making this look kind of look nice down here cuz I'm actually going to use it every day now. Quite often I'm sitting here like um, did, did I, did I clear all my dailies? Like, I'm not sure. Let me just, let me just, okay, let's go check all this stuff again. Check the achievements. And, uh, yeah, a, a car in here has mentioned the time space void. It's not really a daily thing as much as a weekly thing. So I'm not, I'm not totally including it in what you should do every day, but it def, you definitely should jump in here and check. I'm in kind of research slash deep conversation with people as to how, just how worth it the time space void is. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. Uh, the first five floors are phenomenal value, and after that, it starts it starts costing a lot. And I'm not a huge fan of the of the rewards, but uh, if you can clear it, and you you feel like the amount of stamina it costs for what you're getting is worth it, then definitely keep progressing through the time space void. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. This is my checklist. I'll be using every single day now. Uh, what my goal with Knights Chronicle is actually, and, and streaming in general, is I, I def desperately need to pin down a schedule. So what I want to start doing is streaming at reset. So in Eastern Standard Time, my time zone, uh, the reset happens at 11 a.m. So I kind of want to start streaming somewhere between 10 and 11 every day now, and maybe like 10.30, let's say, and stream into the reset, and then uh, do my dailies and do my, and maybe do some advent multiplayers. Because, like, the game's the most fun to play right after reset. Because right after reset, everybody has stuff to do. So that's... I, my plan is to try to try to be streaming daily, basically at reset times. That makes it really easy for you guys to figure out when that is time zone-wise. Whenever your reset is, 
I want to be live. So I hope you guys come join me. Check and check it out. Jump in the chat. Uh, just just hang out, chill, talk. You know, live at twitchtv maskscarin daily around the reset time. That's going to be my goal. I hope. Um, well, I mean, hopefully, hopefully you guys knew most of this stuff we covered in today's video. But I could just, I'm, I'm going to benefit personally from putting it all in one place. I'm going to use this layout daily now to make sure I actually complete my dailies. So maybe it can help out some of you guys as well. If it did, that's great. Uh, say hi in the comments down below. Any, any suggestions on stuff you'd like me to cover? I'm always, always looking for new ideas for videos. And I really appreciate a lot of you guys have been giving me ideas. This video in general was an idea I got from the comments, the uh, comment sections. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, guys, have to grab my Twitter, my Facebook in the description down below to know when we're going live on Twitch and when new content's coming out. Your friendly reminder to check out Bluestacks. The first thing in the description below the video is going to be a link to download and install Bluestacks. Take advantage of your computer's processing power. It's stronger than your cell phone and you're not gonna be killing your cell phone while playing Knight's Chronicle on these beautiful Bluestacks graphics on your computer. And every time you use that link, it helps me out as well. I really appreciate it. Smash that subscribe button on the screen right here. And of course, like the chat is reminding us, stay classy.